Minion Masters is a highly addictive, fast-paced online minion brawler. The goal is to destroy your opponent's master by summoning minions through various powerful cards. Sounds simple, but don't let that fool you. The depth of the game is vast, and it will keep you entertained for hundreds, even thousands of hours. So, without further ado, let's jump into the basics. First, you'll choose your masters out of a list of many. They each have their own strengths and weaknesses, and there's almost certainly one that fits your personal style. Be it a ranged marksman that can support your minions from afar, or maybe you prefer to bring the fight to the opponent. Dropping into the arena, perhaps an incredibly powerful sorceress, casting spells to summon an army of the dead is more your speed. Each master's unique perks are unlocked by gathering a certain amount of experience points. XP's can be earned in two ways. Firstly, each player gets one XP every four seconds. Secondly, you earn XP by controlling the bridges that are connected to each side of the arena. More about that in a bit. As you gain XP, you unlock your master's three unique perks, strengthening your claim to victory with all sorts of tricks and devastation. Next, it wouldn't be Minion Masters without, of course, the Minions. There are currently more than 200 cards and a vast array of different Minions. Each Minion brings its own unique skills and stats. Whether you want to swarm your enemy with cheap and expendable Minions, stun and stop your opponents in their tracks, or charge in headfirst and destroy everything in your path. Whichever path to victory you choose, there are Minions out there that can get the job done for you. Apart from minions, there are also spell and building cards. Spells can be used to change the flow of the game in your favor. Spells such as healing, mind control, or stuns can be devastating in the hands of a skilled player, while building cards are used primarily as turrets to defend your master. Before starting a match, you can customize your deck with the cards you have in your collection. You are allowed to take a deck of 10 different cards into each match, so choose wisely because deck building is one of the key deciding factors of the outcome of your game. A tried and true way to win is to have a balanced deck comprising of minions with different functions such as swarm units that are cheap to cast and attack in packs, melee units, long range units, air units, and big strong balls of destruction that can crush any foe but you can also go nuts and find your own way to success. After all, half the fun is in creating zany, wacky decks. Now that you're all set, let's battle. This is the arena. Your side of the arena is on the left, and your opponent's is on the right. With the exception of spells, most cards can only be played in your own arena. Both sides of the arenas are connected by two bridges, one on top and the other at the bottom. The bridges are key strategic points, as all but flying minions have to pass through them to get to the opposing master. You'll also gain an additional one experience point every four seconds if you take control of a bridge. To control a bridge, your minion needs to be the last one to be on it. When the bridges are yellow, it means that they're not owned by either side. To take advantage of the bridges, consider using cards like Scrat Pack or Crossbow Dudes. Cards like these are particularly effective because they're cheap and will split up to grab both bridges for you when you play them in the middle of the arena. At the top of the screen, you'll see two health bars. Here is your master's health bar, and this is your opponent's. Below that are the perks each master can unlock with XP. At the bottom of the screen are your cards. Out of your deck of 10 cards, you'll always have four available to you. When you play a card, it goes into the bottom of your deck and you draw a new one, rotating your deck multiple times over the course of the game. Lastly is the mana bar. You can cast cards depending on the amount of mana you have. At the start of the game, you'll automatically generate one mana every three seconds, but the rate of regeneration will become faster as time progresses. When you reach 200 XP, you'll go into the Mana Frenzy, which will overdrive your mana regeneration. This is when things get wild. Mana Frenzy is one of the most powerful perks in the game and can shift the tide of the match very rapidly. That's the basics of Minion Masters. Collect cards, build a deck, and battle for victory. A combination of skill, speed, and intelligence will lead you to victory. Then you can join a new match and start it all over again in your quest to climb the leaderboard and become contender. There's a lot more to the world of Minion Masters, a competitive rank system to test your skills either solo or as a 2v2 co-op, and an ever-expanding roster of Minions and Masters. 
Minion Masters also has a very active Discord server with over 100,000 members. And with the new Minion Masters Remastered coming out in 2022, which will also be available on mobile devices for the first time, the community is set to grow even more. So, what are you waiting for? Download and play Minion Masters for free now at the Steam Store. See you in the arena and welcome to Minion Masters.